So today I'm going to be reviewing this Renee of Paris jade wig in the shade Vanilla Lush. It's one of their older, more classic styles. And this is a normal synthetic fiber. And it just has bangs, so there's no lace front. You can see the inside of the cap here. It's basic construction with a little bit of permatease by the bangs to give it a little bit of volume. It is open wefted. And it does have adjustable straps, which pretty much all Renee of Paris wigs have this, I believe. All the ones I bought from them have that. And you have your little Renee of Paris tag. And you do have ear tabs. So the nape is 9 inches long. The crown is 8 inches long. And the fringe is 5.5 inches long. So here's the wig situated a little bit. So a little bit about this wig is I actually got it on Macari for $11. It usually retails about $80 to $150 depending on where you buy it and if you buy it on sale or clearance. Since it is a little bit of an older style, sometimes you can find it under $100. But I found this one for $11 on Macari, which is crazy for a Renee of Paris wig because usually they're a lot more expensive even when you buy them used it is in really good condition it could use a little bit of a silicone mix treatment but overall it's pretty good condition and it's a really good base wig to do a little bit of styling and play with so this is on the shade vanilla lush which is a very warm tone blonde with a little bit of copper in it so if you don't like warm blonde you would not like this color but this wig style does come in a lot of different shades so if this color is not for you, that's okay. So here is the top. And like I said, it doesn't have a set part because it's not a lace front. It's just a full cap average wig. It does have some permatease, but nothing crazy. Um, the permatease just kind of helps hide the wefts and everything. It is this very nice flipped out retro kind of haircut. So it's very, very retro hairstyle. So if you're not into that, then you wouldn't like this style. But... I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. I think once I style it and do a little bit of adjustments, I think I'm really going to like this wig. But my thoughts were if I don't like this wig, it was only $11 and I could just donate it because it's in very good condition. So I'm going to try and play around with it and see if I can make it more my style. So I'm going to do a different video on that. This is just strictly a review video. But I do plan on making a separate video on how I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to add like a root with some L'Oreal root spray because I have pretty dark brows so I feel like this line of color with no roots looks kind of odd on me so I do want to add a little bit of roots and so that way when my bio hair is peeking out if I tuck it behind my ear it will just blend right in if I add a root to it. So with this particular style a lot of people you know wear it a little bit differently this particular wig, the person who had wore it before had decided to wear it with bangs that are straight across, which is probably how I would keep it too. But I also see a lot of people wear it more to the side, like this, or you could part it this way. Since there's no set part, you can really just play with it. If you wear it like this, where it's more flipped over, it looks very retro vibes. So yeah, I would just play around with it and see where you like it. Um, it's just really cute. With the bangs like this. I would have to go in and cut some of the hair. So, like this. Just, so it's not sitting in my eyeball. So this is probably how I would wear it. It's not usually the style that I go for in a wig, but I just couldn't pass it up for $11. Like, I've never seen a Renee of Paris of that cheap of a price, even used. So I was like, I have to just get it and at least try it for my YouTube channel. So even if I ended up not liking it, I could at least show 
my viewers a style and maybe it would be something they like but I actually really like it surprisingly which is really weird because it's totally not a style I would usually go for here it is from the side Yes, I think it's worth it, especially if you can find it used or on clearance. It's such a cute little style if you like short hair. You can do so many cute things with it, and it's very lightweight, so it's not heavy, and it's not scratchy, and the cap is very comfortable. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it was helpful to someone. And let me know if you think I should add roots to it, or if I should just leave it be. Um, so please like and subscribe if you want to see more, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.